Hey guys, welcome for the video production class. This is a short tutorial. I'm going to kind of go over your color project and give you an overview of Final Cut Pro in the process. Final Cut Pro is very complicated, although it is very similar to iMovie. So if you are at least familiar with iMovie, I think you'll, you'll, you'll be okay. But we'll be introducing different features of Final Cut as we go. Um, so that I've been using this Final Cut for a long time. This is a down here is an existing project of mine. Uh, this is for the Eclipse. I did a video for my family uh, down here. Um, so I want to get rid of all this. So you won't have this when you open up Final Cut. But the first thing you want to do here is go File, and you want to go to New uh, Event. Okay, uh, your library should be set up, your default library. But I'm going to have a new event. And for this one, I'm going to call it uh, Color. I'm going to put it in um, my, uh, I don't want it really, I want it in my untitled Oops, excuse me, my untitled library. You don't really need to mess around and have multiple libraries. I don't even know why I did that. Uh, so if I want to double click on this event, this is probably exactly what you see. There's an untitled project. It kind of creates a project, which is the actual movie. And uh, you have this kind of blank set. The timeline, timeline's down here. Right here is where my clips are going to end up. This is kind of the output window. And this is the inspector where you have uh, a lot more options for each uh, one of uh, your, uh, whatever you're clipping, it's just clicking, excuse me. Uh, if it's audio or video, or you have this uh, up here is where you have all of your options. So how do you import stuff? I, I'm gonna click down this little down arrow here, all right, and it's gonna bring up this where I'm gonna find my files. Now, I've previously uh, gathered files on my desktop, which is right here, if I wanna go down here to color. I picked, uh, I think, eight pictures. All right, so I'm going to highlight those pictures. Uh, if I come down here, I'm going to I'm going to put them in color. That's important. Just keep them in color. Um, I don't have to worry about creating a new event. I already did that. I'm going to copy them to the library. And what that does is it uh, it it creates it, it uses more disk space, but it it takes a copy of your original files and puts them into the library. Um, so that way, if I ended up trashing those files on my desktop, um, I don't I don't lose the files in the video. A lot of programs like Premiere, um, when you when you're working with the video files in Premiere, and you inadvertently throw the video file away on your computer, uh, then then you're done. Uh, and I'll kind of explain that if that didn't make any sense. I'll explain that a little bit more to you another time. Uh, you could you could have this optimized media checked if you want. Uh, you could also analyze it for, for color. Um, it'll also fix audio problems. I'm going to unclick that because I don't have any audio and I'm just going to click import selected. What you'll see now is I have my files. Now these files are static. They're just pictures. If this was a video and I was scrubbing over it, uh, it would play in the larger window, but it won't. So my, my goal here is to create a 15 second video where I um, put arrange these shots in uh, greater and greater intensity, and I chose purple. And uh, and I want to have the shots shorter as I go along. So if I click on this, it's just going to kind of default. I could choose to make it shorter or longer, and if you notice, it'll, it'll let me make it shorter or longer. I think the default is four seconds. You could always change that. Um, I you know for for it, it doesn't matter. For the for the pictures, it, it matters a lot when you start messing with re regular video. I think this will be my first one. It's a lighter lighter color. Um, down here is uh, these are important. This is how I could drop media down here. Here's my media. I can um, if I click on this one, it'll put it on top of uh, the primary storyline, which I, I can't do right now. I don't have a primary storyline. This will <clears throat> insert it in between two clips. This will append it, which puts it at the end, and uh, this one will overwrite it. So if I, I, I drop it on, it's going to overwrite anything else. The one, I'm not going to use this much. I use the end one quite a bit. So I'm just going to click that on the end. Now it's going to ask me, this is important. So my video output is 1080p, uh, which is what I want. Um, I want to have Apple ProRes 422. If it asks you, say yes. So I'm just going to leave all this as default and just click yes. There it is. If I hit my space bar, it plays my video. Now I'm not gonna. What I can do here, look at this. I want this to kind of 
I might crop this so it's a little bit bigger. If that makes sense. Let's see what I could do here. Uh, how does this look? What did I do? I wanted to trim it. Make it bigger. Alright, zoom it. What am I trying? What am I trying to do? Oh, here it is. I'm sorry, guys. See, this is <laughs> this is real world. Uh, I didn't rehearse this ahead of time, but I'll go here to scale. I want to scale that up. So, because I, 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 I don't want black. See how this is? There's black on the ends. I don't want that. I, I want this to be the whole video to be on there. So you have to do this a little bit here and there. And I could mess around if I wanted to, um, you know, transform where the X point is and the Y point. I could, I could do that um, by, by adjusting my position. I'm okay with that right now. I'm, I'm okay. So this is good. And this is, if I, if I play it, you can see here the timeline, uh, four seconds, which is okay. I'm going to, next one I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna click the pen at the end. Let's see what how does this look? Yeah, I need to scale that one up a little bit too. I think Let's scale this guy up a little bit. There we go. I want to be scaled. Okay. Now uh, it's the next one I'll choose. I think probably the balloons. Scale that one on the end. And am I gonna scale this thing or not? Probably will scale a little bit up. Okay, and I think I will choose this guy. So that one on the end, pen that. Definitely need to scale that thing up a little bit. Okay, uh, what have I not used yet? I think balloons. Maybe this guy. This is an inexact science, but the important thing I want you guys to know is you got to make sure that it all fits, makes sense. All right, um, I got one, two, three, four, five. I need three left. I think I will do this one. Now, all I'm doing is dropping them in and, and scaling them up. I'm not really messing around with how long they are yet. You could do this two different ways. You know, right now I'm at 22 seconds, which is way too long. The whole thing has to be 15 seconds. Uh, I like that one, but I'm going to put that one not at the end here. See, it already fits pretty good, so I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. And then the last one I have is this one. I think this is the deepest purple that we have. I'm going to scale this like so it's like kind of in your face purple. All right. Now, there it is. So I got, I mean, if I play this, this is a really boring video. It's four seconds, four seconds of, of purple. But I do, if I do go over it, you'll see that the, the purple is getting more intense, which is what I want. Now, um, I could, uh, I want to, I want to make this bigger. Now, if you hit, um, command plus a couple times, uh, this will make this bigger. My keyboard of course is broken at home. So I'm using a separate keyboard. Uh, so if I go up here to uh, view and I could, uh, zoom in. And if I do that again, I can go view and zoom in. That helps me a little bit. Now you could, again, just do that with command plus plus. Now, if I highlight this, uh, I could grab the end and I see where it makes a, and I could scale this time wise. I can make this as long or as short as I want. It's a very simple editing process. So I'm gonna make this one like three seconds. Maybe I'll make this one uh, two and a half. Two, 220 works for me. Uh, this one, let's see, we drop this guy down to two, this comes down to maybe a little less than two. I'll make this one even shorter. So like one. Let's see, I get to play around with this a little bit here. Uh, one. Now, if you notice um, in the middle there, it gives you how what the overall time is. Uh, 
this one down to one. Now, um, but we have to do one last thing here. So maybe we'll make this 15 even. Okay, that's a really easy way. So if I look here, I can know this is 15 seconds. That's the assignment. It has to be 15 seconds. This thing is uh, goes from 13 to 15, which is what I want, because what I'll do is I will drop, I will go up here to title, and I just want something really, if I, if I hover over these titles, uh, it tells you, it shows you what, what it's going to do. Don't go crazy with the titles. I know it's really tempting to go crazy with the titles. I implore you, please don't go crazy with the titles, but I think... Uh, for this case, I'm just going to have something say purple, nice and nice and easy. I want it kind of big. All right, so I grab this, and I can either uh, append it. So a lot of times, what I do is I just grab it and I just drag it down, drop it on top. I can also adjust it. So now, if I'm here, I could go up here, and I'm just going to say purple. Nice and loud and proud. All right, so let's see how that looks. Start off kind of slow, right? Three seconds, two seconds, and it should speed up and speed up. Purple, there it is, and, and, and we're done. Um, now I could, I could mess around with this a little bit more to make it better, but that is the basic assignment. So if you guys can do this, um, on, on uh, Friday, uh, we're going to be in good shape, and it's just nice to, to have this as an as a easy intro to Final Cut Pro.